This is Clarence Hill and Drew Davidson, the Cowboys Beat Riders, coming to you from the Star in Frisco with the Ford Center in the background, the Cowboys' shiny new state-of-the-art practice facility and, and headquarters two days before they go to Seattle to play the Seattle Seahawks in the third preseason game. The first two days of practice out here, we got two guys with concussions who are not going to play with Seattle. you got Tyron Crawford, defense tackle, and the big news today, Des Bryant will not play against Seattle because of concussion in practice yesterday. Yeah, Des Bryant is out for Seattle, and that means he's probably done for the preseason. The next time we'll probably see Des Bryant in game action is against the New York Giants on September 11th. But Des did have a good training camp, called it the best of his career, had good preseason in his two games, caught two touchdowns. So he looked like he was in midseason form, but still a setback considering this is the dress rehearsal. Oh, yeah, he's looking good. The first two preseason games, he'll be ready to go for the season opener. But he's just disappointed he got hurt in practice. Got an unfortunate hit from safety Barry Church that knocked him out yesterday in practice. Uh, two practices out here at, at the new center, two concussions in practice. I don't know if that's a bad opener or what, but for the rest of the Cowboys, they will be ready to go against the Allen. What is the dress rehearsal? Dress rehearsal for this season, the third preseason game. Tony Romo will play likely the entire first half. Ezekiel Elliott, the fourth overall pick, will make his Cowboys debut against Seattle. Yeah, and, and that's something that's really intriguing to watch, especially how he runs behind the first-team offensive line. Alfred Morris has looked very good. It'll be interesting to see how Zeke does in his first game action. And, and I don't think he'll play the – it'll depend on how many snaps he plays, but – he should get a fair share of carries, and, and the Cowboys definitely want to see how he looks going into the regular season. You know, talking to him today, you know, obviously the Cow he missed the first two games because of a tight half strain. The Cowboys wanted to be cautious with him. He is a bell cow. He will be their workhorse back uh, during the season. He'll probably play eight to 12 snaps against Seattle. Well, at least that's what Jason Garrett sir, said. They want to get him the ball on the ground, so they want to give him a few carries uh, out of the backfield, as well as some pass receptions out of the backfield. He will get a test. He will finally get a chance to run behind this offensive line. To me, the goal for Zeke this year is 1,300 to 1,500 yards. I think that's an attainable goal, but this will be a loaded and talented backfield. Of course, we already talked about Alfred Morris being back there with him. Right, and, and I, don't, I don't think Zeke's going to carry the ball 392 times like DeMarco Murray did two years ago with Alfred Morris and Darren McFadden and Lance Dunbar coming back. But I, I do think that 13 to 1,500 yard is realistic. Double-digit touchdowns, I think, is realistic for him. And that puts him right in the mix for Rookie Offensive Player of the Year. No days, but we'll see Zeke for the first time in Seattle. This is Drew Clarence Hill, Drew Davidson, the Ford Center at the Star <laughs> in Frisco.